Hello, my name is Beta Squared, and I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how I make my thumbnails. I use the program of Photoshop. This is something different on my channel. So basically, what I do is I open up a new uh, image that's 720p, and then I place down. Oh shit! Let's go to pictures and just place down the 1080 one and just stretch it over the corners, just so we have our basic image. What we're going to want to do is we're going to just place all of our image and assets that we have located on screen and just kind of just stretch them out with um, a shift for the most part. Um, he here's another thing. I My thumbnails are very somewhat Game Grumps-like. I use control to like rotate them to the side. So we basically have... Oh god, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do at all. Uh, what am I doing? I'm not doing this right. I'm just making a basic thumbnail that involves a game that I will eventually play. But I'm just pushing all of the images that I have downloaded from my computer currently. And we're gonna use this image. We're not gonna use it quite yet. We're just gonna stretch it and rotate it so it nice and gently fits over the screen. And we're gonna just leave it between the blue screen and everything else and we're just gonna hide it for now and finally let's place our last image all the characters from uh, Super Smash Brothers for the N64 one of my more favorite games and I'm gonna try my best to describe what I'm doing so before I jump into that if you have a tiny image what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open it with Photoshop and then go to image and image size and then just basically enlarge it to whatever size you want. 800 is generally good for a 720p and you want to switch the bottom setting to nearest neighbor so it looks identical when you shift it over to a different size. We're not gonna use this image because we don't really need it right now. So we're back on this screen what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sun rays and push them behind all of our Smash characters and just enlarge it because it's not that big of a deal. No one really notices it. And there you go. Uh, how do I want to do this logo? Well, okay. First, we're going to take our image of the Final Destination and change it to hard light, which is pretty freaking sweet. You get that awesome, like, inverted effect, and then we're going to just double click on it and change the opacity to like 40 so you still see it it's there but it's not in the way directly I'm doing this very poorly I realize right now because my Super Smash Brothers logo is slightly too big that's fine we can just shrink that down and hit enter to place it and then just transform our Smash Brothers characters to kind of fit on screen because we want everything to fit on screen for the most part and it's basically adjusting it until everything looks and feels right essentially that's how I interpret it anyways that that looks good for the most part that's what I think so we're, we're gonna double click on our characters and we're gonna go to outer glow and drop shadow I like to add at least 30 ish distance to my drop shadow I think and outer glow um, well because our logo is already black I'm gonna switch this to normal and then change the color to black and then just change the spread so we get that like nice vibrant shadow ar around it I mean this the size in the spread you don't want to change the spread too much because then you get this really hard Outlook and if you want to change it to another co lighter color Go ahead. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, eh, it's fine N Nobody again like this the sun rays are, are there just for for fun for the most part and the same thing with our logo uh, outer glow drop shadow around 35 I know I might be doing this in a way that is light, slightly ridiculous and there you go. It's unfortunately covering Jigglypuff's face, so I might just drop the drop shadow. Like, even though Jigglypuff isn't the most <laughs> magnificent character, 
in Super Smash Brothers. She is one of my more favorite characters. Uh, and you know what? That looks fine. I think actually we can keep the drop shadow. Again, this is the way, my method of doing it, so if you don't really like this, <laughs> I mean, it's not really your problem. Uh, and now for, you know, the iconic face of mine, I'm gonna take it and place it basically where I see fit, which is in this corner. Because there's a rule of thumb, you don't want your, you don't want numbers or titles around this corner because it gets blocked by the, by the time of the video, which you might see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Stroke and Drop Shadow and basically just, again, do like around 40-ish and basically change the color of this to maybe yellow and hit OK. Oops. Why, why is that working? OK. And now we're going to go to 15 because I want to do that right now. And now we're just going to duplicate the layer. Because duplicating the layer will allow me to basically do... Uh, that's not what I want. I want to get rid of the... There you go. And... Change that to 8. Basically, by duplicating the layer, we can have two strokes. Which makes it look a lot more snazzy. And a lot better. In a word. I'm going to leave that right over there. So, this is the thumbnail. This is the base for the thumbnail. I think it looks great. It's not amazing. It's not spectacular but it, it looks well done y you can go back and adjust it uh, that's not the right one I want to go to the characters uh, is it outer glow yeah it's outer glow I just want to shrink that down just a tinge there you go now it looks better it looks so much better and especially with like final destination in the background and the purple sprouting out in the corners it looks great I think it's like a step up so like you want to save it as a PNG for your base. Uh, I don't want to save it there. I, uh, I already have Smash Brothers, but it looks terrible, so I'm just going to replace it. Uh, there it is. There's Smash Brothers. Save. Yes, I want to save. Okay. Now, if you want to basically change the Final Destination background, uh, you want to save this as a Photoshop file, so all the everything is like saved, essentially everything just runs well essentially but because I like using my thumbnails for pretty much everything what I do is I just oh that's not right uh we want to drag that all the way to the top is I use like a special font called lobster 1.4 it is one of my favorite fonts and all I do is I really just drag a number hit stroke got a stroke and then change it to eight and that's pretty much the like where it sits because you can see everything. So the game, these are the characters, it, it, it's it's very easy. Sometimes I don't use the hard light uh, filter mainly because this fills in 90% of the screen so you're not gonna really see the background as much but if you have like a thumbnail that doesn't particularly fill in the back of this like the screen then it's pretty easy to like get lost in all the blue which is why like the hard light is a very great setting I just purge everything because I'm not gonna use this for now and that is basically it uh, here let me, sh let me show you my other thumbnails I have I made a bunch Th these will be in future episodes not right now but like can I full screen full screen why aren't you full screen I don't know how to full screen what? Did I do something wrong? Anyways, here are some of the thumbnails I made. Uh, some are great, some are good, <laughs> some are bad, some are decent, some have to be remade, others are blank and will have to like be fixed up, but these are future games that I may play at some point. Yes, <laughs> I, I actually really like the way I do my thumbnails sometimes and I think I know I didn't describe it really well but this is the way I do my thumbnails this is the way how I do it and if you like this video or like it as a tutorial I mean whatever go ahead and subscribe but god damn it people are playing video games I'm gonna basically make a thumbnail for this thumbnail using a thumbnail and I don't know how I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna figure it out and we will see 
what happens. Thank you for watching. Click like, click subscribe, and do everything else that you pretty much like.